I'm Rachel Lucas and this is your 10 News Thursday update. Virginia Beach police who responded to the deadly mass shooting say they had a difficult time reaching the gunman because their key cards wouldn't open all the doors. Meanwhile, the medical examiner says the shooter died from several gunshot wounds. This means he died in a shootout with police and did not take his own life. And we're also hearing from one of the people hurt in that shooting. In a statement to the NBC station in Virginia Beach, Melanie Coffey says she's out of critical condition. She said in part, quote, I am just one person affected by this tragedy in our community. My hope is for courage and determination as we heal together. A Roanoke man is in a hospital and in custody after authorities say he ran from them twice. State police say it all began with a traffic stop on Melrose Avenue in Roanoke. The trooper tried to arrest driver Alexander Ramsey for his outstanding charges, but he ran away. The trooper arrested the other person inside the car and called for backup. Roanoke police arrested Ramsey about an hour later, but he was able to escape once he arrived at the city jail. As he ran across the road, he was hit by a state police car trying to find him. Ramsey was taken to the hospital, but expects to be okay. He now faces 12 new charges for Wednesday's incident. And did you catch American Ninja Warrior Wednesday night? If you did, you might have seen a familiar face. Josiah Singleton from Brookneal took his shot at the course. The recent Liberty University graduate beat it. He has been working out five to six days a week for the past year and a half to make it. And when he's not training, he has plans to become a youth pastor. Remember, you can always get your news, weather, and sports on the go at the WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.